Once we click Next, we're brought to the Add Content section. This is where we're going to create our email. So let's get into it. So the first thing we'll want to do is remember the data extension that we created in an earlier video. So in another tab, let's pull up our data extension. So I have another tab pulled up on my computer that is showing the data extension I created earlier in this course. And this is important because when we're doing AMP script, we need to remember how we wrote our column names. So always remember how you wrote your column names in your data extensions so that when you're doing AMP script you can pull in the correct data so let's go back to content builder but keep this tab open so now we're back in content builder and we're gonna put something very simple like hi percent percent first name percent percent and that is amp script that's going to pull the first name from our data extension so we need to make sure that in between these percent percents we have the name of our data extension column that we want to reference and in the pre-header, we're going to put something like, would you like a getaway from percent percent city percent percent and then a question mark. So this city, if we go back over to our data extension, is going to reference the city that this person either lives in or is from. But in this example, we'll just conclude that the person lives in this city. So let's go back to Content Builder and we'll say, would you like a getaway from percent percent city percent percent and then question mark. Now when we send this email, it's going to reference those data extension columns and pull in the correct information for each customer. So now that we know to do that, let's go on to building the email out.